Tonight we have our 2017 2018 GHSA Double A Ball State Basketball Tournament. Starting Dublin, fighting Irish with the record of 22 and 3, uh, hosting uh, Josie out of Augusta area. Uh, this should be a great matchup. This is two versus three, Dublin being a two seed. Could have been an easily a one seed, uh, but uh, I think they're going to be fine in the tournament. I think Josie's going to give us all we want tonight, King. Well, you got two great teams, Dublin coming off a really, really tough region loss in Washington County. And we're going to see how they bounce back, what type of character they have, what type of uh, uh, ability they have to uh, show resiliency. And this is a big game. This is a state playoff, so Sweet 16. So you got to be ready to go. Yes, and uh, of course we'll have the winner if we win of Swainsboro and uh, Thomasville. And if Thomasville win, we'll be heading to Thomasville, Georgia. If Swainsboro win, of course we'll be back home with the high seats. So here we are, Josie uh, gets the uh, gets the turnover from Dublin. And uh, we'll, we'll see what our methods are. Josie starts off small tonight, but I heard they can shoot the ball real well. I got a friend of mine over at over Laney, and we talked uh, across the farm back and forth, and he said Josie shoots the ball. They got one guard to shoot real well. So we'll see. Uh, uh, Dublin uh, uh, had a Final Four run last year, and we'll just see how we turn out this year. We are. Uh, we are boasting about four, five singers, and, uh, and, and we'll see Joseph get some of the uh, what, what, what do you think? What do you think, King? I think right now, I think it's going to be interesting to see how Dublin uh, really, really plays tonight. Defense is going to be big. Dublin can always go six, uh, go five, four with uh, six footers. And if they continue to do that, man, it's, it, it, I think they have the opportunity, a little bit of an advantage on the inside, definitely. And also, we would like to thank Dublin at the Gas and all of our sponsors here at Dublin. Uh, thank uh, our superintendent, Dr. Fred Williams, uh, our principal, uh, Tony Dr. Jordan, Dr. Yep. Tony Jordan, and all of the staff here at Dublin, uh, our athletic director, Dr. Holmes, and uh, of course, all of, the, all of the staff, and of course, uh, Coach Paul Williams back again in the state playing playoffs. And, and, and he's had a lot of success, a former champion with the West Lawrence Raiders, looking to get one here. And uh, I think he has a chance with the squad. I think they were a heavy favorite going to the Washington County game. Now it's interesting to see how they bounce back. Like I said, what's for the loss? Dublin on the left. Hold it. And we get a whistle blow. Ladies and gentlemen, help us congratulate Torin Holder on reaching the milestone and receiving one One of the guards that uh, carried his last year for a couple of games, uh, Paul that wasn't there, was Tron Holder. Right. Uh, just got recognized for his 1,000 points and throw the ball to his father in the stands. Uh, what, what, a, what a opportunity. That is, what an opportunity. Right here, TV 35, game of the week, brought to you by Double Natural Gas. Man, a great, 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 great. We saw uh, the All-State point guard, Cam, get one earlier this year. So for Torian also to get one, another senior, and a great player for Dublin to get a uh, award. That's a big thing. And Joseph comes out right back and ties the score 2 2. Dublin Powder brings it up. Sets up the screen up top. Dublin passes the ball around, gets the ball into Jackson's hand. And he misses the shot, but we rebound it. And we get a foul. Who's got it? Well, Dublin said, Dublin said in that game that they were very disappointed with how they played that. They said that they're. That play last uh, week was it indicative of how they played this year? Well, uh, when you got two starters out, didn't play, and then uh, you missed 15 free throws probably, and then uh, you uh, and then you didn't, didn't play the best game. You lost by one. Right. So uh, I still think that Dublin is a one seed. Uh, for, uh, four is not bracket wise, but against anybody, we we we're gonna be a one seed. And so uh, if we play our, to our potential, I don't know if. Uh, King, Quake King is going to play tonight. We'll see. Well, from what I understand, I'm going to give you some breaking news. But I know, from what I understand, he may be done for this season. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I heard. I, I didn't want to bite on it, but that's kind of, kind of what I heard. And, uh, uh, but, but, we, but we'll see. And uh, GHSA AA State Tournament. Uh, glad to be here tonight. Man, we miss you. I know you've been a little bit <laughs> under the weather. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Benny, who filled in yes, great. Yeah, my first cousin. That's he, right. Uh, no, he got my bike. Should have been a foul call. 
ball when he gets the foul and no basket. He waved the basket off. I think right now, doubling right now, like I said, they're going to have to come on the inside and really, really penetrate on the inside and really, really uh, use the size and the length to uh, beat Jovi. Yeah, but I'm still convinced that Jovi is going to come off the bench with some bigger guys. I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But uh, they're very small right now. Although our All-State guard takes a shot in the lane, the double rolls up about five to two, and we're yet to do any pressing. Uh, what, what do you think, Joe? Is strong at the guard corner? If we just wait for our turn, I think we wait on our turn. I think Dublin. The, Dublin that's not. That's not getting towards it. Dublin is definitely the favorite. Dublin is definitely the favorite in this game, and I think right now it's going to be up to uh, Josie to, you know. Kind of do like Washington County do. Kind of get early, take the fans out of the game, and kind of say, hey, we're here to play. You know, I'm a firm believer of, of, of a team that you're supposed to beat, go ahead and kill them. Yes, yes. You know, get them out, get them out of the way, don't let them hang around. And uh, and Dublin seemed to come out with a great start tonight. Also, I'd like to commend, I'd like to commend my, my friend King. He, he's holding the camera tonight and talking, so uh, it's good to be multitasking. Yes, it is. this is nothing new to him. Uh, Carter misses a layup here, but we get a foul. And I think Dublin is out the game. Yeah, I think I think they're coming out to, to prove themselves that they are the top seed. Like I said, I talked to a couple of players, I and mean, I talked to uh, uh, a couple of players from the Dublin team, and, and all of them relayed the same message that they were focused, they were ready to go, and they had to come out and start strong. That's what uh, Coach Paul Williams has been telling them all week. You got to come out and start strong. So and that's what uh, I think the message is for Dublin this week: come out, start fast, start strong. And, and you know, by Dublin getting that number two seed, they're, they're on the bottom top bracket with a number one seed, Thomasville, right. and also another number one seed in that top part of that bracket is Spencer out of Columbus. Right. So our work is cut out for us. It's not going to be no easy, not going to be not gonna be an easy job. So it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be all that we we, we go bargain for. Well, with, with the region loss, they, they dropped from number one in the state down to uh, number three. So being a number three seed right now is, is who that? Dublin did. No, Dublin 2C. No, I'm talking about in the, in the, in the entire state. The, oh, yeah, yeah. We've been, we been, what, 3 and 4, 2 and 3 all year? Right. We we okay. finally got the number one that we lost. We, we, we lost okay. the okay. and, and, and we all know that the great legend walking in, Ben Smith, <laughs> and uh, his wife coming in. It's always good to see him. Hope we can interview him for the night before. I was loving to do the beat. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a break. And I'm saying, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a I'm Liz Wright, and I'm a local caterer doing social events, but when I need transportation, I can always depend on All American Transport Van Rentals for all my transportation needs. My family and I have used All American Transport Van Rentals for our family vacations. We travel all the way to New York City, and we had a great time. The service was reliable and dependable. We got an awesome, awesome price on the van rental, and we as a family traveled together and had a marvelous time. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store, where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Adcock Home Furniture and more for a great selection of dining room sets. And save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and more. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and more Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Back here at Dublin Ivy Rock, the 340 left in the first quarter. Dublin Ivy's up 8 to 2 over the Joseph uh, out of Augusta. Uh, and uh, Joseph seemed to be a little timid for his. Uh, of course, we got a huge block early. And they seemed to want to shoot that long jumper. They must have been hitting a lot of them through the year. But when you don't make jumpers, then, then you, get, you, you get behind in a uh, big ball game. It's hard to come back. I think we have a turnover there with Dublin. Joseph gets the ball back. This is the first round of the state playoffs. Dublin, a number three seed in their bracket. Really hoping that tonight, I think they do play tonight, right? Dublin holding uh, 
Swainsboro takes care of Thomasville tonight. Yeah, we'll be home. It's always good to be able to play at the Rock. Yes, sir. Joseph makes the basket there in the lane. You can tell that they can score. Sometimes it just don't fall. Paul uh, will bring the ball up for the Irish. And uh, we're, set, we're setting up. Uh, maybe we're going to let Jackson stay outside some tonight. Uh, but it, uh, with Bruce Guyton coming back. But uh, uh, we, we'll see how things pan out. And what we will chill drop. And, they, uh, and the 5 9 gets the rebound. Yeah. That, that's one thing that we haven't been able to do uh, that we, that a little bit better than we should. And, uh, and, uh, and so we, we got we to gotta call somewhere in the lane in a three second call. And that's something the Dublin can't do. They can't get into a turnover battle. If you're Dublin, you want to get out of transition, take care of the ball, get out of transition, and make buckets. Um, if not, set up your offense, run through Jackson, run through Paul, though. Uh, you can't go to sleep. You know, you got to stay uh, focused. Uh, see, like right now, you, 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 you're only up two of you. Right. So, uh, Joseph brings the ball around. Left hand guard. He passes it to uh, another guy. And when he set his feet, that's a travel to me. But they don't call it. Uh, there's no way you can move both feet and, and not put the ball down. So. But uh, it wasn't called. We just got to play. The Jones is showing us the expertise right now. They, they are, uh, Jackson goes to the basket, gets the limp, gets, gets a foul. But they're actually showing us the expertise for a shoot. Right. I was warned before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely can shoot. You can't leave them open. You have to run them off the three-point line. I think that was a two he just hit, though. But you have to run them off the three-point line and make sure that it is. It's 8-8 eight, eight with a minute and 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Jackson to the line to shoot two. First now, you know, in the Washington County game, that was the big Achilles heel for doubling, not hitting their free throws. A lot of people say if they would have not done their free throws, they would have won the game easily. But not hitting their free throws cost them, you know, not to be able to uh, get the win as, as, as easily as they should. Jackson hit both free throws. Joseph takes the ball. Doubling seems to want to put the pressure on now to test the guards. And, uh, we back off, we go down, we hit man to man. And it goes by Jackson. We lay the ball. That may be something we're gonna have to uh, change because people talk about mismatches or bandages. Sometimes the smaller you are, you have the advantage for quickness. Over side. So right. we got we gonna have to match up maybe sometime go small with this small group of kids. Okay, Apollo just hit a three-pointer, a big shot for us. Dublin give us back the lead by two. Uh, I mean by three. By three. Big man. Steel in a dunk. Steve Litton. One of our great football players. He just got an offer for football. And uh we definitely glad to have him. He'll be back with us next year, hopefully. Uh, with another year. Awesome, awesome. And, and nothing like a duck to get the crowd ride up. The double and faithful. Oh, nice spot fake. They move the ball real well, but they got to make those jumps in order to hang in there with their the great eyes. Hold them. Gets it back. This is the layup. Jackson gets it. Go. We get a call. Again. And I think if we beat them up inside, we would be fine. Right, right. I think we. I th that's the advantage. We're up by five right now. 13.5 seconds left in the first quarter. 15 to 10, Irish over Josie, and it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. This is good for Dublin. Dublin get out of the lead, play ahead. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm a believer. I've watched the Irish all year that we can, we can probably play with anybody. Right. So uh, I'm not afraid of the two seed. I don't like going to nobody's gym, but it is what it is. Yeah. Dublin has shown all year they, they, they can win on the road. They've only lost what they lost three on the road so far this year. So they show they well, can they win. Lost, well, they lost. 
two to Washington County and lost one, one of his witnesses. Right. Uh, uh, Dozier makes a shot at the buzzer, and I think they're going to give it to him. So that ends the first quarter. We'll be back. Double lead, 17 to 30. Right here, brought to you by Double Natural Gas. It's team 35. Yeah, but listen. At Bank of Dudley, we understand that buying a new home is a time of many decisions, and we're here to help and answer all of your questions that might arise during the mortgage loan process. Our mortgage professionals, Shirley Clements and Sherry Adderhall, have over 75 years of combined mortgage experience, backed by a bank that has served this community since 1905. Call or come by and visit with Sherry or Shirley at our Veterans Boulevard branch or go online at bankofdudley.com and get started today. Bank of Dudley, creating a custom mortgage experience with competitive rates and terms is what service is all about. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Smith, one of the great players for Dublin history and Dublin law. You know, they're having the, uh, the Hall of Fame of Dublin sports coming up. I, okay. I, I think you got a chance to buy You might be getting it today, you think? I thought it was just football. Is it just football? No, so that's what I'm thinking. I, I hadn't heard anything about it in the wrestling or basketball. Okay. Football, so. Well, they chase possession right now. Josie gets the ball. Josie gets the ball. And, uh, so stay tuned. Don't leave the television because we may get uh, great Ben Smith to interview with us in this one. Just a few, maybe four and a half is high. Joseph brings the ball across the court. They seem to be real patient with Dublin to see what kind of defense we're going to run. We'll run in the scene in a 3 2 zone. And, uh, and it's just, they're going to work our guards, and uh, they want that shot. Left. They want that three. And, uh, they get the rebound. Of course, when you shoot long, you get long rebound. That's true. So, all the brings it up. Dublin is passing to Jackson. Gets it down low to Bruce Gatton. He misses the layup. He gets his own rebound pass out to Paulo, and he misses Jackson Hustle. And we get called without a power call. But, but 17 left in the second quarter, Josie is, is probably where they want to Right, right. They're five they're five right. Four points. Yeah, they're five points. So, four points. They're, they're, they're five points. As the old dog would say, if I could just hang around to the end. <laughs> hey, you never know. You get a, all you want is that puncher's chance. That's huh? it. And they pull it left and right, man. Let's just hit the first. He get that the foul. Yes, he does. One point ball game. Who brings it up? Dublin haven't seen it, have gotten in there uh, in the rhythm yet. And that Bruce. Bruce seemingly to get fouled down low. We're not getting the call. Then Joseph pulls another three, and he gets a long rebound. And uh, uh, Dublin gets the second rebound. That's what I'm going to miss. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. We got to be getting fouled. Man. We got to be. There's no way. Yeah. And, 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 and in some, some cases, you got to make the real call. You right, got to right. play. 
Right. And right now, we're playing through this. Yes. Don't get upset. Don't get out of character. Stay with your game plan. T.W. Jones have came to win. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And they play with house money. They have nothing to lose. They're a lower seed. You know what I'm saying? So they play with house money. Nothing to lose. They, this, this is, to be honest, all the pressure really is on Dublin right now. You got a higher seed. You're at home. Supposed to win. You're supposed to win. And this is first. First free throw. Floyd comes in. For Paul. And he comes in with a sideboard Floyd comes in the game. Places a senior guard holder. Yeah. He won't have the luxury tonight of King coming in off the bench right. with Floyd. Because uh, that, that, that hurts us some. Yes. Uh, definitely. But uh, I think we can put the pieces together and, and we got we got to keep rolling. Right. And once again, you have Dublin now, I think, with all players over six foot in the game. And this is what I was telling you. Hold on. Except for Paulo, Paulo, okay. four, four players. Without We're gonna let him be six foot tonight. <laughs> I hope he plays like he's six. We'll get Duke to come in. Here. <laughs> we go back to uh, we go back to man to man, but there's no way we stay in front of him. But we get a block from the big man. He's a small guard, and we don't get a call on any of those. Uh, and they get a layup on a foul. Cannot lose the component. I've seen it happen so many times with different teams when, when they don't get a call, something happens, and they stop playing. So you know what you can do, just keep playing. And that gives the Eagles the lead. Chosey is coming to take a, a lead early in the second quarter. Pass by Floyd to Carter. Carter misses layup. Rebound. Oh, he misses layup. Rebound. Battle down floor. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you, when you, when you get fouled, you don't get called, you get timid. You see the referee get you call, but you gotta play through. First round of the GHJ Double A State playoff here, hosted at the Double Nine with Rock. See Jackson hits the floor. I think we kind of figured out where the shooters are. And uh, one that's not the shooter, we're we gonna, we gonna double down on the ones that can shoot, play tight on those ones. There's a certain one they want to shoot, so. You figure the game plan out, and, and, and there you go. That's the one that they want to shoot. And uh, we get the rebound floor, and get the hole that brings it up. Good sign. I think that went on them a little bit, but you just got to play. Right, right. You know? that, that's what we talked to him about. I had a chance to talk to him when he said he wanted to come out and be aggressive, not think about it too much, and just play his game. And we talked to Coach Williams. Coach Williams said he has the red light to shoot anytime he wants to. The crowd has gotten here, and, uh, and that's when we get the turn over there. And really the only thing that can be doubling, really, if you really think about it, is doubling themselves. Missed free throws, turnovers. That's what happened to watch the county game. And they, you, you're seeing it right now. The only reason that this team is with them is because Dublin's turned the ball over and played so, sloppy. And they you know. Well, they're right where they want to be. Right. The crowd is here now. People are coming from Dublin, Joseph, Augusta area. Uh, I seen West Lines here, East Lines here. I seen uh uh, 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 West Lawrence's very own, he's the uh, superintendent over at East Lawrence now, O.J. Hall. Right, right. He's, he's here. Right. Uh, I mean, people are here anticipating, waiting right. to see what, what, what the Irish are going to do. See, I like this substitution here. Uh, Quay came in last time. He had a good game, had a big turnover at the end, a big foul Not at Quay. the end. Uh, um, Quiz, I'm sorry. Quiz. Quiz, yeah. Quiz. He yeah. had a big. He they had a big, Donut. Donut. That's what they call <laughs> it. football field, yeah. Right. But he had a. Uh, he had a big game. He had a big game. He had a big turnover, and, and I know it hurt him. I don't want to go inside. But, uh, uh, but we, 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 we having too many turnovers right now. I don't want to go to the wild with, with, 
I don't want to go to the wild with Joe. Right, right. I don't want to go to the wild. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what that comes gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be a turn over there. We give it up to Paul though. Over time, and we get to the back. Lord goes to the back. They get a uh, foul there. And, uh, good foul for Joe. Uh, we gotta make our free throw. Yes, sir. Thank you for doubling that for gas and all they do and all of our sponsors. Uh, everybody that has ever did anything for our programs here at Dublin, we thank you and, 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 don't, don't, and don't think that we don't appreciate you. Don't leave the television because I'm trying to get Dan Smith over here to interview. He's been overseas playing ball right. probably since he left right. uh, college in Jackson. Right. So we're talking about uh, seven, maybe seven, eight years. Got to be a good point. We're going to Floyd to hit his second of two. Dublin with a two point lead, 21 19. And there it is. 22 19. Wow. Joseph brings the ball up. Joseph brings the ball up. Dublin gets a man off there to try to get the ball turned over and couldn't get it. Break the ball up. Number three, back down to number five. Yeah, I think I'm going to convince him to come and talk, uh, talk to us. The great Ben Smith is coming to the microphone, and uh, I just want to hear what he had to say for the Irish at this time. So, hey, uh, tonight we're here at the Double A State Tournament with uh, our 06 champion uh, Ben Smith, who was the point guard at the time. Just kind of want to hear his intake on the Irish and uh, and even on this game tonight of uh, how you feel about it. What do you think about two seed playing a three seed? Um, you know, just I think we got the potential to go. Uh, if we play well enough, we can turn this into a successful state run. But in the state playoffs, seeding doesn't really matter. You know, you just have to go play who you play that night. And then you bring your state championship effort every night, and then you just win that advance. But you don't look ahead. You don't take anyone for granted. It's just five championship games. You win one, you advance. You can't look ahead. I think we got a great chance to win tonight. If we win tonight, whoever we play, if we bring our A game, we have a great chance to win next week. So let me ask you one more question. I'm, I'm going to let you go after, after uh, maybe one more question. What do you think about uh, Dublin losing one of their, their uh, sophomores which could score 20 points a game, 6 4 uh, guard, uh, he went down a couple weeks ago. We hadn't been able to really get him back. Uh, what, what, what do you do in terms like this at the end of the season? I mean, did y'all have that problem? I think, did we lose anybody? No, we didn't. Health is always a blessing. You know, that's part of it, being lucky enough to be healthy. Uh, when you lose anybody who contributes, it's a tough hit to the team. But at this point of the season, there's no excuses. Next man up. Next man up. <laughs> From pro sports all the way to high school. If you're going to be a championship team, you got to go through adversity. So with one minute left in, the, in this half, Dublin's up 25 to 23, I think. Uh, your banner your banner is up, up now, I think, uh, 2006. Uh, uh, we don't get to go on the side. Dublin gets to go But... Uh, you went to, uh, after you left Dublin, you went to Jacksonville University and uh, and, uh, and contributed over there real well, and then you went off to uh, overseas. Talk to us just a little bit about that, then I'm going to let you go, because uh, I, don't, I don't know if you want to come up in a night like that. Now, anytime, man, especially for you. Yeah, after I left Dublin, I received a scholarship in Dublin. I mean, Jacksonville University, where I was able to get two, we was able to win two championships. Just recently got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Wow. Uh, I got... I was lucky enough to get six or, six or seven school records. My last eight years been overseas, and I, I took this year off because uh, I had my first son, and I plan to go back next year. Okay, well, when you first went overseas, where did you go? I went to Greece. Okay, and where you are now? Uh, my last year I played in France. The last three years been in France. Oh, okay, seems like it's been good for you. It's been great to me, man. It's a good life. That, that, that's good, and uh, thank you for, for interviewing with us. Thank you for coming home and checking on us. I've seen your posts on Facebook. Yeah. If there was a basketball Hall of Fame, I know you would be in it. I appreciate but so we're it. praying that, that those things come later. But uh, the crowd is here tonight. I love it. just glad to have you. Anything else you want to say before we uh, let you go? I mean, um, I just want to say come out and support the team. You know, I think, like I said, I think we have a real chance to win it all this year. We may not, and we, but we have a chance. So while we have a chance, I've, I've seen it when I play. We had great support, so come out and support them. Thank you. All right. This is Ben Smith, y'all. Double nine at the rock. I told you I was going to get it. I told you not to leave your television. Great interview from the uh, great Ben Smith. And so we are excited here. Uh, 
Got to get back to the ball game. 29, 29, 25 seconds left. Dublin is up 31 to 23. 23. Uh, are the calls switching? <laughs> they, I, I think what's happening to Dublin has been a lot more aggressive, and that's causing the referees to have to call, call their way. 20 seconds left in the first half. If we can go up maybe 9 to 10 at half, would that be good for the hour? That would be definitely good for the hour. Paul don't the ball with 13 seconds, 12, 10, 9, 8. Josie got to see if they want to tempt him, uh, make him hurry. We get a scream at top. We get an open shot by sophomore Floyd. And he drains it at the buzzer. And we're going in the halftime. We get the score right before we go. 30, 34, 23, 11. Uh, we're going to take a break here at our halftime. Double A State playoff. Thank Dublin Dr. Gas for all that they do. We're going to a break. Hello, I'm Darren King with Clements and Keene Insurance. And regardless of what you may have read or heard in the news, the Affordable Care Act is still on the books. Every American citizen is required to have health insurance. Please give us a call at 272-8019 and let us help you navigate through the process. Clements and Keene Insurance, 272-8019. Welcome back to the TV 35 Game of the Week, brought to you by Dublin Natural Gas. We had the Dublin Fight Irish taking over the Josie Eagles right here. Dublin is winning 34 to 23, starting the second half. And Josie comes out with an early turnover. Dublin takes over the ball. We're about here at the halftime with the Dublin Irish at the Rock. Up about 11 points. Paul will raise it up. Just want to congratulate the Dublin Middle School on winning the championship today. I want to get Coach Williams up to the interview. He wants to be a shy man tonight, but uh, <laughs> we want to give him his props. Great coach. He may come over when it's over, and uh, he's a good friend of mine. He may think about it and come over and give us a shout out. So don't don't leave the television. But we may get to hear from him. Are oh, we going to go to a right here? Double that again. Thank you for all Hi, I'm Helen Powell. I'm the owner and operator of Careers in Cosmetology. Since I've been enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology, I've learned a lot and I look forward to a bright future in cosmetology thanks to Helen Powell. Hello, my name is Shelly Steff. I have been a stay-at-home mom for 18 years. Coming to school here has been a wonderful blessing. I feel very privileged to come to school. I feel very privileged to know Miss Helen. Anyone that has not been to school, I encourage them to come on. Coming into school has been a, made a great difference in my life, in my family's life. I just, I really enjoy it. If you want an exciting, profitable career, come see us. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. We're back here at The Rock. 7 11 left in the third quarter. And 
double A state tournament. I think I think Dublin is focused in now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they're focused in now, and uh, we get this ball rolling. And, and, and like Ben Smith said, one game at a time, just play like it's a championship. Just play hard. And, uh, and I think we'll be just fine. Uh, um, I, I think Joe's is a normal match tonight. Right. But uh, I don't think it's gonna stop him from playing hard. No, no, yeah. 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 All those decisions, man. When you look across the floor, their coach has on green, and it, it almost looked like double. Yeah. But they, I see they blacked out on me. So, <laughs> you know, that's good. They don't get the colors mixed up. Right. They are green and gold. Those are their colors, though. Yeah. Steve Litton, who had a big first half with a couple of big dunks. I think we're dominating the board more now, selling down. And uh, again, I'd like to thank Dublin Natural Gas and all of our sponsors for all that they do for our program here at the Dublin City Schools. Definitely, I think Dublin definitely has taken uh, a big control of the game and, and really have, I don't know what's going on, they call it warning and coaching. I don't know what that was about. Ref blow his whistle from across the floor. Right, I think they warned coach. Uh, Williams are going. Right now, what we don't need is a, is a, is a technical or anything. The no, technical we don't need anything right now. We, we, we're fine. We just have to just finish the game. That's what they want to do. They, they want to suck you in, and then if you leave their shooter, they're going to pull it. A uh, guy was telling me on the phone today from Laney that they'll pull it from half court almost. So. But you know the old, you know the old adage, you live oh, by the three dollars. Hold, hold it, take that ball, and uh, and uh, we don't get a foul, but we get the ball back up there. What did that? You know the old adage, live by the three dot, die, die by the three. And I think right now, uh, Josie is struggling with the shot. And Dublin continues to pound the ball on the inside. I'm, uh, I am believing as the tournament goes on that Jason can live inside. He can. He can. And uh, I, 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 uh, I'm not the coach, but uh, I, I probably get him going in the inside right now. Right. We're going to need him. Well, for us all we, what we see is what we see is when Floyd comes in the game or when the shooters come in, Dublin go more inside. We get an offensive foul to Linton. That's a quick one. It's a hope by the ref. All that, all that hard playing they've been going on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We have another time about the referee. We don't need to get our coach suspended tonight. No. That would cause us to have to lose two him two more games. for two games. Yeah, he's still having a conversation right now. He's still talking with the uh, official. Look like we have a clock issue. Dublin right now up by 13 with 50 seconds left. No, can't be 50 seconds. It's just five point five minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, about right. That's what it started. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what they had to get right with the clock. But, uh, I think one of the one of the refs don't want to hear anything. Not, not right now. Not right now. <laughs> so. Uh, Coach Wallace should probably chill out a little bit. <laughs> Once you know they're in charge, so I just let them have it. Joseph trying to find the spot. Of course, we, we know they want that three. And Dublin's not giving it to them. And you have to kind of commend Dublin on, on their defense. The defense has been so strong. Joseph gets smart and goes inside. But then we let them take the rebound. Make some layup. Why would you brag on the defense? That's when they let you down. <laughs> I don't understand that, but. Let's have a lick. It has to be kept. Turnover. Holder helps him up. Good sports machine. 
38 27, double nine, which is up 431 left in our third quarter. Double A action state tournament uh, here at The Rock in Dublin, Georgia. Good to host a uh, state tournament game. Uh, we all, uh, Thank you to TV, uh, Double Natural Gas. All that they do, and all of our sponsors. Maybe King will pull up the uh, Thomasville Swankville game in a little bit, see if we can get a peep at that score. We'll try. We'll definitely try. We, we want to take one game at a time, but uh, it's always good to be able to peep over the fence sometimes. And Joseph gets a wide open shot, and he gets a foul call. I didn't see anybody too close enough to get a foul. Uh, it looks like the ball was already gone, but I'm just hoping my coat is ready to go. And, uh, don't, don't let them bait you into a technical right. uh, injection. So, I'm still looking for a press from Joseph. Uh, maybe not this quarter, but they, they got to bring more defense than what I'm seeing now to even have a chance. But we'll see. Well, I think right now, they, they, they will, I think Josie actually kind of likes the tip off this game. They don't want to get in the running backs with Dublin. Well, they got they got the, side, the speed and the smallness, but I don't know if they, they're equipped. Do they have the athleticism? Right. Hold the Holder takes the first jump in there. No, that's second one. Second dunk he makes right. it. And uh, that's a good sign. Right. That's, that's, second, that's his second shot he hit. Because remember, he uh, scored 1,000 points. That's right. Earlier today. Uh, full five left, third quarter. And he tried to draw a foul. And uh, he passes. They get the rebound. And he passes and misses again. And, uh, and so he tangled up. Jackson goes to the basket. We think he got fouled, it don't matter. We get the rebound and lay it back up. I think Dublin trying to open this game up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a 13-point uh, lead, 330 left, 35 left in the uh, third quarter. And we get a call on Steve Lint. And uh, there was no ball thrown inside. The ref just called it out. Uh, out the blue as he saw it. Well, this is this same referee's been calling this off. So, uh, you know, that's why you don't mess with the refs. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you try to say the good side as much as possible. Less than the two minutes. Just right. let Tell him have it. Tell him what about you then after the game. <laughs> so, There's another quick one. Jackson, this is still, but he's out of bounds. Joseph misses another three. They've shot about 21 tonight. And, uh, they're probably about 40%. And everything we do right now, they're calling on this level. On this level. Yeah. Coach Paul is almost on the floor. Well, he is on the floor. <laughs> I think he picked up something over there. Right. Good time, you can say so. Yes. Here you go, sir. By the way, you missed that call. <laughs> How tall is Joseph's biggest man, you think? I'm uh, looking at about six, 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 six. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell from up here. Aldo goes around. Uh, Jackson passes it to uh, Quinn. Quinn. Golda. As he goes back up strong, misses, and we go to the line. Uh, uh, have, uh, have, have Paulo rested tonight? I, I think he's played the whole I think he's played the whole is uh, really not uh, as zero, uh, uh, asserting himself. Asserting himself. Yeah, put I out a lot of energy. I think he's laid back. Uh, I think he's pit, he's pit his parts. Uh, uh, when to be aggressive with the kind of hold, hold back. I think holding is still kind of fresh. When you can bring in Florida off the bench, they give you some minutes. Uh, uh, Linton, I think yeah. he's still fresh. Guys, I don't think we've been pushed tonight. Oh. And uh, it's going to be big for Wednesday. Yeah, they do have a 6'6 six, six guy and a 6'5 guy. That is Joe. Yeah, I can look at it and kind of tell. Uh, do you have anything on the Swainsville game? 
Uh, checking it out. We'll see if we can maybe post something a little bit. He got a long ways off. You leave the shooter open. And he missed it. And we hit the rebound. Loose ball. Paulo comes around. Seems like Paulo may want to crank up a little bit here. Get ready to get them on out of the way. Jackson. This is a different lineup right now. You have both uh, Quez and Guyton on the floor together. And they haven't hit a three, I don't think, this whole half. And uh, Quez is running out of the floor. He's, of course, he's fresh. Right, right. Way to go, Donut. That, it, it's, it, it quit, what, I think he's what? A sophomore, junior, sophomore? Sophomore. The governor has some talent. It's coming back. Yes, sir. Uh, Florida's coming back. Smith. There's the three. Quinn's is coming back. Quinn is coming back. Right. 48 31. Linton is coming back. Finally get a call yeah. on this end of the basket. Uh, right now, 48-32 uh, in the third quarter, minute 20 seconds left. Right now, Isaiah, who you see is the most valuable player for the Irish? Wow. Uh, it's kind of been on an even scale for us. Who did what? Quiz has come in and hit a couple. Hope has hit a couple. Uh, Jackson is hustling, always hustling hard. Uh, Linton had a good first quarter. So uh, it's still up for grabs. Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would love to see uh, the All-State point guard turn it up and give me something to give him. Give him one this y'all think to give him. I mean, he won one this year. I think he won one. Okay. I think Florida's won two. I think he's won one. I think Jackson has won one. Okay. So, so uh, I think Holder's won. Hold the one one at Wesley. Right. So I don't remember I would I don't remember giving Paul the one. But you guys did when I was out. I think he I think he won something. So, uh, maybe Bruce Gatton will turn it up so we maybe give him one. Right. Jackson won one in Wickerson. So uh maybe we'll be able to spread the wimp tonight. Uh, we'll see how uh, uh, these guys picks it up and see who wants it the most. And uh, we'll 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 do an honest job. Uh, let me ask you a question. A lot of people talked last game about the rotation of Coach Williams not going very deep. Tonight he's only going, what, about seven deep in the rotation. Well, last, in the rotation. well last week he had to go deep because two starters was out. Quay and, uh, and uh, uh, he, he went for his, uh, he, he played Floyd, he played number 10, layup for this guy there. Uh, and I think he played uh, Quay. So you're talking about eight deep with two starters out. So with, with the two starters in, that's ten. So he he, he didn't have nowhere to go. I guess you know, much much way to much much way to go. So uh, no, it's like we, a bitty bitty said that he, he would like to see a little bit more. Yeah, but when you miss when you miss fifteen feet though, I, I don't I don't I can't I can't I can't put it on the coach. That just means maybe you can straighten me out with that. Oh, no, no. When you miss fifteen free throws and two starters out and still only lose by one. You got to go back to the line and say, you know what? We didn't leave it on the floor. 14 point six seconds left in the third quarter. 50 to 34, 16 point lead for the Irish. Thank you to double that gas for all that you do. This is, this will be a big win for the Irish to get them uh, uh, started in the right direction in this uh, state run. Uh, have Joseph showed too much for the comeback as they get down? No, not, not, not a lot. I think right now, I think they see it that they're overmatched. But you never know, this basketball is a game of runs. Well, the region that they in, the Glen Hills, the Laney region, those guys have been ranked in the top five all year. Right. So uh, they've seen this kind of talent. Right. No doubt. But, uh, maybe, maybe not this much size, but uh, Laney beat Dawes last night by uh, 13. And here we have the Dublin Irish coach, uh, Miss Fan, with us tonight. 
we're gonna bring on Owen at, uh, at the top of the fourth quarter. We're gonna okay. take a break. Lord goes up for a shot again. This is this one. But as Quay goes back with a quick fight. Quay and uh, Guy is battling for that uh, man the game. Man the game. <laughs> but we're gonna take a break. It's Dublin right now, 52 to 36. End of the third quarter. We come back with the coach of the Dublin Lady Irish Miss Fair right after this. It's the game of the week brought to you by Dublin. I'm Marcus Clements with Clements & King Insurance. Darren and I have 75 years of combined experience serving this community. Our agency is dedicated totally to the sale of life and health insurance for Lawrence and surrounding counties. Call us for any question you have on life and health insurance. Hello, I'm Brian Baysmore with Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We've been in business for over 12 years here in the Dublin market, and we would like to invite you to come by and experience a new way of banking. We have the state-of-the-art teller pods, fast, friendly personnel, and we have same-day loan approval. Lenders are on site to be able to help with all of your financial needs. Come by today and experience a new way of banking. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, 605 Bellevue Avenue, Dublin. Back here at TV 35, game uh, double A state tournament. First round GHSA. Dublin brings the ball up across the court. 130 left, 35 left in the fourth quarter. And uh, we're trying to close the game out. Good thing about the night. All right, we're going in the paint with the ball. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. That's my man Leon Jenkins right there. Provides some insight. Talking about double going in the paint. Going in the paint, got to hit strong in the paint. They know your fans, know some ball. They know, know a little bit of football here at Dublin. Most people think Dublin is just a, a basketball, a football time, but we're a basketball city too. And has been for a long time. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Matter of fact, basketball has kind of excelled. But football used to run, uh, well, I ain't going to say all that, but. Football is pretty heavy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, but but in the in the in the 2000 era, football and basketball were neck and neck. You went to the dome four times. You went to the Coliseum about four times. So you neck and neck. That's very rough. Got Dublin right here up I think, I think that's the exclamation point right there. That's the cruising, ice is on the game. Cruising down the highway, that's what we want to do. And I'm going to get ready to go down and get the play of the game. That's right. Right here, about 57 seconds left. Dublin down 14 to 7. 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 And, here we go. About 25 seconds left. Fourth quarter. Time continue, clock continue to run. And this is going to be Josie's ball. A big win for Dublin. As coach empties, empties the bitch. Dublin will go on to play the winner out of Swainsboro and Thomasville. The Thomasville will Dublin will be on the road. The Swainsboro will Dublin will play home next week at the Rock. Give it in by the ball. There's a tip. And there's a foul. Two to four seconds left in the fourth quarter. 68-50. Dublin in full control of the game. Josie goes to the line to shoot two. And oh, he misses. Goes over the rim. 
24 seconds left in the game. I was sitting here waiting for the ref. Trying to figure out what the hold up is. Here we go with the second point. And he misses the second one. Rebound by Josie. Inside pass. Miss. Tip back. And Josie gets one to go. 17 seconds left for counting. Double throws it up. Oh, turn over Josie and they get a layup. Josie with the ball. Oh, he presses. Fighting to the end of as a kick ball. Dublin in by the ball. 3.8 seconds left in the game. Dublin in full control. Up by 14. And a long pass, turnover Dublin. Uh, no, it's going to stay with Dublin. It's going to stay with the Irish. No, it is Josie's ball. Josie in by the number 24. Cox. Two seconds left. Takes a long shot. And that ends it. Dublin <laughs> Irish wins. Right here. They take the first step into going to the state championship with the defeat of the Joker Eagle of the Dublin Fighter Irish. This game is sponsored by Dublin Got the Gas. Right here on TV. 35. Big savings here at Farmers Home Furniture in the Dublin Mall. No refund check, no worries during our tax refund sale. Charge it today with 0% interest. Here, here at Farmers Home, Home Furniture, Furniture in the Dublin Mall. We have our big sleep event going on this month. All mattress sets are on sale. We have a free set of memory foam pillows for every mattress set that's over $499. This oversized recliner for $400, we got it for $249. Save big! Open an account today of $699 or more and receive this free air purifier. We have in-house financing, including 12-month no interest. Fast, dependable delivery and service after the sale. Come see us at Farmers Home Furniture. Employee owned and employee operated here at Farmers Home Furniture in the Dublin Mall. What if there was a paint that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated or something you simply thought was lost forever because it could form a strong bond regardless of age? If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore. Only available at independently owned paint and hardware stores. Available at Four Seasons Paint and Floor Covering. On behalf of Dublin Natural Gas and TV35, tonight we're here with Dublin head coach Paul Williams. And he, uh, our uh, uh, guiding tonight. And he's player of the game. It's just good to be in the state tournament first round. Uh, we get about a 15, 20 point win, and uh, just, we're just excited. But on tonight, Mr. Guyton, getting you back off of an injury, uh, you had a, a good game tonight. Uh, rebound layups, good hustling, uh, strong inside. Uh, what, what are you? What are your intake for? Is uh, for is uh, where we go from here, and, and how do you feel? I feel good. Come back on the injury, just work hard. Just come to practice every day. Just work hard. Just we gonna win this game. Well, we gonna win this game at Tonkinville. We just got to keep working hard, come today at practice, just work hard, that's it. Sound like he know we're going to Thomasville. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, uh, but we just decided to be a part of GHSA AA. Coach, listen, we, we didn't get the region championship. Uh, we had a couple starters out. Uh, uh, we didn't hit a lot of free throws uh, that night. We missed a lot of free throws, yeah. but we're here now. Oh, yeah, and we're in the state tournament, and we, we, I, we look ready tonight. So uh, what, are you, what are your intake? What are your feelings about where we're going and uh, how strong is this Irish team? You know, we try to tell our team it's five games. You just want to play one and move on. It's not worth it. If it's 20 points, you miss free throws, you don't get the 50-50 ball. At this, at this point in the year, you want to move on, and that's what we're doing. So at this point, we're all excited. We're going to enjoy it today, uh, have church tomorrow, and then we'll start with, with the tapes on whoever we play, Thomasville or Swainsboro, 
uh, you know, on Monday, and then I think we play him on Thursday. Glad to have Big Fella back. You know, he's been gone for a week and a half. King's been gone for a week, well, a week and a half. So, you know, we kind of been outnumbered. You know, people we depend on. So, it's, it, you know, I'm glad to have Big Fella back. I was at uh, Golden Crow yesterday. Saw him walk in, so I know he's feeling good if he's eating a buffet at Golden Crow. So we're all, we're all happy. But you know, he's a, he's a known leader to this team, if not the number one leader. I love him to death. You know, he's quiet, does what you ask, and uh, you know that's that, that's just the way I want Ashton to be when when you know when he grows up. And, 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 and coach, I'm gonna let you go, but I mean, you've been there before. You've been to Macon. Uh, you won the state championship. Uh, uh, what is it gonna take? How you feel about us getting to the top? Uh, togetherness. Uh, you know, it's, it's all about being together this time of year. Uh, you have to think, think the same. You, you have to know the game plan. Everybody's got to know the game plan, but you, you just have to be together at this point. If we're together, if we got 14 deep and they got 12 deep, we're going to beat them. So, Good. I'll tell you right now, Dublin Irish is going to win the state championship. It's Thank you. We just Let's spoke go. that. Listen, on the half of uh, Dublin, uh, Natural Gas like and TB35, and we want to give a shout out to the Dublin Irish, Irish first, uh, first yeah. uh, round uh, win, Double A state tournament, Dublin Irish. And Mr. Guyton for being player of the game. Portions of this program are brought to you in part by Fairview Park Hospital, a leader in health care for Dublin, Lawrence, and surrounding communities. Providing inpatient and outpatient surgery options and rehabilitation therapy services. Zero percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The City of Dublin Natural Gas.